Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, freshly back from the planet Baxia, where I picked up this fabulous souvenir. Really marvelous. You know, you can get these incredible things at the duty free shop in the spaceport. And it's this Bax Tone Poems with the Royal Scottish National Orchestra, conducted by David Lloyd Jones on Naxos. There are five of them here. Now, Bax was just a marvelous tone poet. I mean, that's really what he was all about. I know that people will say, well, his symphonies are marvelous, and they are. There's no question about it. He was also a very, very fine symphonist. But I personally think that for those who find the symphonies, uh, well, maybe just a little bit overbearing, um, and I can understand that, you know, all of that relentless chromatic harmony and oversaturated orchestration. I mean, I love stuff like that. I got to tell you, I mean, the late romantic decadence is just, I think, one of the great things that ever, ever happened to music. But I can understand it. I can understand it if some people would like to have perhaps a little more pictorial suggestion and a slightly briefer playing time. And for those people who have not yet probably journeyed to Baxia to look at the fabulous forestscapes and seascapes and all of the things that inspired Sir Arnold Bax, get this, because this is just a terrific recording. Now, these pieces have been recorded and quite well by various people because they tend to kind of play themselves. You know, the only people who do them are the people who really like them. And when people like them and you play them, they just work. I mean, I even participated in a performance. I actually had my community orchestra at one point do Tintagel. And boy, I mean, you know, we were like a really, a really sort of basic, you know, not too well endowed string section, you know, with lots of everything else. And, and we, we didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> we did Tintagel because it's a very, very overwhelmingly beautiful, rich, glowing, orchestrally opulent piece. And it sounded fabulous. It just worked. It worked even when we got slightly out of sync. It still sounded really good. So, so Bax is, is, is I, any of you guys doing like community orchestra stuff? You want to do something that's like really nice for your audience? Do some of these tone poems. Now, the ones on this disc are Tintagel, which is, of course, a seascape, a glorious seascape. I mean, you hear the waves crashing on the cliffs and the, oh my goodness. It's so beautifully graphic. It's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And then the Garden of Fond, which is another seascape, by the way, and not coincidentally, although it's an underwater one in that case. And then the Happy Forest. The Happy Forest is just what it says it is. It's not one of those Celtic gloom pieces. It's the Happy Forest. And then the Tale the Pine Trees Knew. No one's quite sure what the tale was that the pine trees knew, but they knew it. They knew it very well. I ran into a pine tree when I was on Baxia, and I did ask it what was the tale that the pine trees knew, but I didn't speak Baxian, so I couldn't understand the answer. And finally, November Woods, possibly Bax's most famous tone poem after Tintagel. And this is just, this is a really good performance of it. I like it because it, 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 it's a little bit less than the normal length, which is like 18 minutes. This is 1648. And those things don't really matter in, in, in overall terms because this is such atmospheric music. But I, it, these performances also have a certain firmness and, and energy and rhythm, which can very, very easily disintegrate in Bax because there is so much atmosphere and because so much of his music is heavily chromatic in its, in its you know, busy contrapuntal textures, you know, it can, it can turn into sludge. And if you've ever been to Baxia, there is no sludge on Baxia. So you know you know that Bax's music is not supposed to turn into chromatic sludge. It's to always, it should always be atmospheric, yes. It should have mood, but also clarity. 
and liveliness and inner life. And these performances have those qualities. They're very, very beautifully played, very, very beautifully recorded. And until you have the opportunity to go to the spaceport and take the Baxia shuttle, they've just started shuttle service to Baxia, which is much less expensive and, and easy to get to. But until you can do that, do this. It will give you a wonderful sense of all of the beautiful sights and sounds of the Baxian's home planet. You'll just love it, I guarantee. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.